In this video, we are going to learn how to create and run an Angular application. To create and run an Angular application, we need Node to be installed in our machine. First, let us check whether we have a Node installed in our machine. Let me open run, window R, and then type command. So here, I need to check Node version. This will tell us whether uh, Node is installed in our machine and which version is installed. As you can see, I have a node already installed, but uh, this is a old version. If you see he here, uh, we have the latest version as 16.13. That is the most recommended version for all the users. So let me download this version. So basically, node is a JavaScript runtime. It comes with the default uh, packaging manager, NPM, that will help us to uh, add uh, install packages into our Angular application. So the node has been downloaded. Let me open it. So just to follow the steps. So it will be installed in your program files node.js and here if you see this is adding to the path so path variables so if you are uh, running it uh, downloading node and want to install in your uh, office laptop or something you will not be having access to admin so you need to get help with our uh, IT support to get it installed. Okay, so node has been successfully installed. Let us see the, um, the version it has been. Let me close and open it again. Window R and command node-iPhone-iPhone version. So it is now 16.13.2. So the version has been updated. And you can check the NPM version. Seven point nine point zero. If you're not getting NPM version, like if you type something and you uh, you get something message like uh, yeah, NPM is not recognized as, then you need to uh, add this into our uh, environment variables. Let me show you how to add those environment variables. You can search like environment variables. Here in the path, you need to add entry. So here, if you see, I have the NPM is already defined here. Let me copy this path. I'll show you. Window R and paste the path. So here we have the NPM installed. So you just need to copy this path and add it as a new entry, just just like that. But I have it already, so I don't need to add it. Okay, I'm canceling it. But uh, you will not have access to adding environment variables at uh, admin level. So in that case, you need to create it for the user level. In most of the companies, they will not uh, allow to add it at the admin level. So what you have to do is, Go to control panel, go to user accounts, here change my environment variables. This is specific to the users. So here in the path, you can edit and you can add a new entry here. And you need to specify the NPM path here.
So to create Angular application, you need a CLI, Angular CLI to be installed in our application. I will check. I have uh, Angular CLI already installed. Ng iPhone iPhone version it will uh, save the Angular CLI version. Here it is 11.2, but again it is a old version. Uh, let me um, install the latest version. npm install iPhone G denotes it's a global install, and then at the rate Angular slash CLI. So that this will install the uh, latest Angular CLI in our machine at the global level, not in the local local level. If you remove iPhone G, then it will install at the local level where it will ha has the package that JSON file. It will update there. Okay, so Angular CLI has been installed. Let me clear it. Now I will check the version. So if you see, now Angular CLI is 13.1.4. It is the latest version. So this is how you need to install Angular CLI. Okay, so now I'll close this. So the next step is to create an Angular application. So let me uh, create a folder. Okay, so right now I have created a folder named learning and I am currently here. Let us open a command prompt here. So at this learning folder, I have opened the command prompt. Here I will be creating the Angular application, ng new. So the name of the application, new application, new app. So this will create a new Angular application the complete boilerplate for the application. Previously in AngularJS versions, you need to create all the files, each and every file index.html and all the files you need to create manually. But with the help of command line interface, this will uh, create a complete boilerplate seed up application for us. So here it's asking whether you want a uh, routing to be enabled in your application. Yes, we need routing. And uh, which uh, CSS style format you want to use. Basically, you have to go with the standard CSS format. This is the, the standard one. So if you see, uh, here we have a lot of files created. And after that, it is installing the packages. So the NPM packages. So application has been created. Let us go to the path. We have created as a new app. And we start the Angular application. npm run start. So this will default run our application in port 4200, but you can also change the port by giving iPhone iPhone port. I'll show you that as well. You'll say no. Okay, our application has been started. It is currently running in the port 4200. This is the port. You can copy this. I'll go to the path and paste the port. So here uh, this is comes. Uh, so the Angular application comes with the default uh, template. So here you can modify all this template. So now our application is completely started. So that this is how you create an Angular application and start our Angular application. Let us open our application into Visual Studio Code Editor. Code dot. This will open our application into Visual Studio. So npm run start, it will uh, trigger this script start and it will uh, execute uh, ng serve. You can also do uh, ng serve directly. ng serve and if you want to change the port, iPhone iPhone port, instead 4200, I'll run it in 4100. So now if you see 
the port 4200 it's not running it's running on 4100 let me change it to 4100 so here it is our application let us change uh, the code and see the uh, reflection okay so here i will remove the entire content of this application and we'll say the hello world okay if you see after i click save uh, automatically the the page has been refreshed so angular uh, cli takes care of uh, reloading the application whenever you make any changes in the code for the simple changes it will auto automatically reload the application okay so this is how um, you create angular application if you want me to explain each and every files created by the angular i will do a separate video for that please do uh, comment in the video page uh, i will make sure i will create a new video for that